Hello everybody, in this session we're going to look at PixArt and we're going to look at how we edit using it. So first of all, you have to create an account if you don't already have one. So I'm going to sign up with my Apple ID. So this might take a little bit of time based on your Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to sign up now and I'll just speed this video up. Okay, great. So that's me signed up. So this is a seven day free trial. So I'm going to click the free trial and then I'm going to cancel it straight away. So it's completely up to you if you want to subscribe to this. The free trial might be perfect for your needs. So, okay, I've now purchased the free trial. I'm going to go ahead into my settings and I'm going to cancel my subscription. If you want to cancel your subscription, pop over to your settings, go into your iCloud and subscriptions. That'll then show you what you have um, subscribed to. So I've canceled my free trial, so confirm. So I am now going to go back to PixArt and we'll start editing our photo. So first of all, I'm just gonna use this photo of me. And first thing you'll notice, if I hit in the bottom corner, I get all of these wonderful features and these wonderful tutorials. You can go through those yourself. So let's look at the Tools app. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but we'll just look at a couple of them. So the first thing we're gonna look at is dispersion. So I just cover the area that I want to disperse and you'll notice PixArt disperses the area. So I can play with the stretch of it. I can play with the effect that I want. This is a really cool effect. And when you start combining it with adding text and adding other elements, you really get a really amazing piece of art from your photography. Again, it's a very specific use when you're using this. So I'm just going to raise the bit on my face because I want to keep my face and I just want to disperse my shoulder and my arm. Okay, so I'm going to click go. And again, I can play around with this. So if I can click it just on my face and it does it on my face or I can click it just on my clothes and it'll find what's my clothes and just do it on my clothes. There you see, I'm just going to get rid of the bit next to my left ear. So I'm just going to invert that first just so you can see what that is. But I can use the erase tool and just wipe over those little pixels and that will then erase those little bits. So I can really refine this tool and how I want it to look. I really like this tool and it's dead simple because PixArt does all the work for you with its computer AI magic. So that's how you use the dispersion tool. Again, I'm just gonna have a play around with it just to get used to kind of how that looks and play around with the different directions and different stretches. And I encourage you you guys to do the same and you know, really find an image where this effect will work really well. What you'll notice is it's not dispersing out of the side, it's dispersing within that. And then I can try different effects across. And I'll let you do that, but I'm just gonna stick to the normal effect now. And I'm just gonna play with the size of this because I think it looks really cool. Okay, so we've done that. All we need to do now is either move to the next, save it to our photos, or we can share it to PixArt's website so other people can look at it, for example. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna share that uh, photo with myself. I have options to put it up in social media should I want to, or I can message it to a friend, but I'm gonna save it to my images. Okay, let's move on. Let's pull in the same image again, and we'll look at some different tools within that tools menu. So we'll just click that and we are going to look at the swirly patterns. Now, again, at the bottom, you've got all of these effects. So all I'm doing is dragging my finger across and you'll see at the minute I've got the warp effect selected. And I'm just doing this super, super quick so you can see the effect. Obviously, you will be much better than I am at this. Here's my swirly effect. This is really great if you've got geometric patterns or you have a flower, for example, that you just want to create a really interesting spiral curve. If I do and I don't like it, just click undo and it undoes it. There you go, there's my swirly head and creating a really interesting piece of Salvador Dali-esque artwork there. If I move across to the inflate, I can inflate my head, let me zoom in. There you go, there's my now giant head and my now giant chin. Let's just undo that. So I just erase all of that effect and we'll go back to my um, tired looking face with the shadows. So I'm just gonna discard the changes. All right, let's have a look at some more then. Okay, so what we're gonna look at here now is the clone tool. I'm not gonna use the clone tool so much on my image because you guys know how the clone tool works, as I've showed it you in other tutorials, but you get the sense of how it would work here. But again, 
I don't want to clone my face on my face like I've just done. That looks a little bit bizarre, I think. Let's come out of that. Let's have a look at some more tools. So um, down here, so if I go into another one of my um, options, I can play with the amount of enhancement I want, or I can play with the amount of saturation that I want within this image. So that looks quite nice. It makes me pop out. So if I just click that and I could download that if I wanted to. Um, some more options in here so I could play with the perspective. So at the bottom, you can see which part is going to warp. So, you know, I can bring myself in and I'm just doing this super quick so you can see it. But, you know, I could bring my right shoulder in and really create, create an interesting perspective. So I'm just going to cancel that. Right, let's have a look at what else we have in this uh, toolbox. So again, I can look at the different canvases and the different stretches and the blurs. So let's just have a quick look at what we have here. So I'm just gonna go back to the very beginning. And if I go down to the bottom, you'll see that I'm in FX and I can play with the HDR and I can play with the dodge burn and I can play with different types of looks that PixArt puts that look on everything. So again, if I just want a little bit, I can erase part of my face, for example, and that wouldn't be HDR. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna scroll across so you can quickly see the different types of effects. So you've got things like film or you've got glitch. I love glitch, by the way. So let me just zoom that in. So you get like a really interesting kind of quality with that glitch. So I'm just gonna save this because I think that's a really interesting look. And again, great for social medias and great for different things. So we're gonna move on to canvas. So let's have a look down here. So again, if I click a different effect within my canvas, PixArt does all the work for me. So I've just reset my image and I'll go to my canvas at the bottom there and I'll just click a couple of these so you can see. I don't know whose face that is put in at the bottom of my face, but I really like it. This part of PixArt deserves its own tutorial. So I'm gonna pause this lesson here, let you have a play with what we've learned so far. And in the next session, I'm gonna jump in to using that portion of PixArt. See you in the next session, guys.